Turning now to the threats in the tropics, the Atlantic is active this morning. Tropical storm Earl is expected to strengthen into a hurricane today, and that storm is about 600 miles south of Bermuda with winds maxing at 70 miles per hour right now. And this, of course, is kind of the season to talk about all this. And Ron, I know you have it pulled up behind you here yep. as to where it might track and, and how much damage it could do. Well, you know, we have some good news, actually, when it comes to Earl. So uh, one of the things when I pulled up Earl this morning, uh, kind of taking me back, obviously, uh, forecasting several years in the New Orleans area, uh, I started to notice that things weren't like they were saying last night where Earl was intensifying. Earl is now weakening now doesn't mean it's not going to be a hurricane. In fact, uh, they're just kind of holding off. They're saying, hey, the long term forecast still shows Earl as a hurricane, but probably not going to happen today. You can really start to see this over the last six hours. A lot of convection, very strong, and then it's what we call shear, strong elevated shear. So that basically means a uh, way above the surface. You have these strong winds that just really kind of took the top off. So Earl is struggling right now. It is expected to move off to the north towards Bermuda. Uh, we'll probably say to the south the Bermuda won't have any impact. You can see the San Juan area there, uh, both the Dominican Republic and Haiti just down uh, to the southwest of where Earl is right now as well. So a record setting day for us yesterday. We saw plenty of rain here. 1.71 inches of rain. The old record 1.41. So we really shattered that record yesterday. Here's the good news. Rain chance is still the forecast today. We're going to bring down those big totals from yesterday. If you remember yesterday, I was saying, hey, half an inch is what you should expect. We're going to see more than that in some spots. Pretty much everyone should be at or below a tenth of an inch today. It's not going to be much at all. Here's a look at what model data the latest models are showing. Still, we do have that chance that we could see one or two downpours again today. The chance is lower, but it is still there. We'll be looking at mainly this afternoon, a couple of hours where we could have a thunderstorm that could bring with it some big rain totals. Radar right now, it is dry at this time. We've been seeing, and you can see them just kind of falling apart now, a couple of very isolated showers up into the Armstrong and Indiana County areas. Hey, here's noon, a couple of showers still around. We'll see those kind of fall apart, and then we'll see some redevelopment fairly late into the day. An isolated thunderstorm or two will be possible at that time, and if we see any flooding, that would be uh, the time that we would likely do that. Hey, temperatures right now at 66. We actually have some drizzle coming in at the uh, Pittsburgh Airport. That's the first time this morning that we have seen that. Winds out of the northwest at seven miles an hour. The dew point and our temperature are the same. So this is just some drizzle, very light uh, that we're seeing as we're starting off this morning. High temperatures today, mid to upper 70s. I want to put Pittsburgh at 78, hit 76 yesterday for high. And similar to yesterday, we will see some breaks in the clouds, just enough to get us a little sunshine. Here's a quick look at your seven day 76, your Wednesday high 74 on Thursday. Our next completely dry day looks to be both Thursday and Friday with us warming up heading into the weekend. All right, we thank you, Ron.